Hello everybody and welcome to the Sparkling Autos YouTube channel. In this week's Quick Test Tuesday video I'm looking at Valid Pro Citrus Pre-Wash. And just getting stuck straight into it then, the directions on the back of the bottle say to dilute it 1 to 8, spray the lower panels, leave to 12 but not to dry and starting from the bottom rinse off with a pressure washer. So what is this product for or what does it claim it can do? Well it's an all purpose cleaner that says it can remove bug splats, it's a pleasant citrus smell, cleans all surfaces and it doesn't remove any wax layers. Well there's only one way to test those claims, so let's get our solution made up as per the instructions and get cracking with the test. So for an 8 to 1 dilution ratio, it really couldn't be any simpler. I have 4 litres of water, to which I'm going to add 500ml of product. And as I do that, I can confirm one of this product's claims straight away, which is the strong citrus smell. There's certainly no mistake in it. In actual fact, when you pour this product out, the only mistake you may make is that it could remind you of a distinctive Scottish soft drink. And now that we have our solution made up, let's take a look at the challenge it faces. So as you can see, the car is in a pretty sorry state. It hasn't been cleaned for the best part of three months. It's got a lot of road grime, traffic film. It's basically had the worst of all four seasons thrown at it. Now I'm not expecting a citrus pre-wash to remove all of this, but it should certainly make a good dent in it. But there's only one way to find out, so let's get stuck in. So the first thing I need to do is remove the unknown doubt of just how much of the dirt water would have removed. So what I'm going to do is put a couple of controlled lines in using the narrowest nozzle setting from the high pressured Ava P80. This way I'll have some sort of comparison point when it comes to rinsing the product off after it's had a few minutes to dwell. Which is exactly what I'm about to do now. So I'm going to spray this entire side of the car, leave it for a few minutes to dwell and then we'll come back and rinse it off. So as I started to rinse the water off and comparing it with the control lines I made with just water from the pressure washer, I can see that this product unfortunately hasn't made any difference whatsoever. And to be honest, at this stage I felt a mixture of both surprise and disappointment. This is a brand with a fairly good reputation and I wasn't expecting this product to perform so poorly. Or not perform at all as the case may be. Now whilst I will admit that there's clearly an element of traffic film here and this is not a traffic film remover, at the same time I would have expected it to at least make a dent on it. It did absolutely nothing that the water alone didn't do. And just giving it another go on the lower part of the rear door and yeah, seeing exactly the same result. Very poor, very disappointing. Now obviously this is one of our own cars which I clean on a regular basis and I've used many other cleaning products on the same types of roads and road dirt that never have this issue. But by the same token, I've seen this product being used by other people, including Paul Dolden on his channel, with much more positive results. And I also appreciate that not everybody has the same experiences. We have different water hardness levels, different types of dirt. And so what I'm going to do to be fair to the product is give it another go, only I'm going to double the concentration this time. So I'm going to add in the rest of the 1 litre bottle, which, although you can see I've used roughly 500 mils in total so far, this is going to make the solution, give or take, about 4 to 1, or about 20% which, for the product's sake at least, will hopefully give it enough of a kick to keep it out of the bin. Well, once again, there's only one way to find out, so for the second time, let's get on with it.
Here we go then with round two, and you can actually see the orange colour in the liquid this time. Although that shouldn't be too much of a surprise, given that I'm now using it at a 20% concentration. Once again then, I've coated one side of the car, going to allow it to dwell for five minutes and rinse it off. And hopefully for its sake, it has a bit more impact this time. So here we are then, fast forward 5 minutes later, and as you can see, certainly on initial impressions, it looks to have had a bit more of an impact than the first one did. But we'll get this rinsed off and take a closer look and see, is there really that much of an impact? So whilst initially it does look better, if we go back in with another quick finger rub, we can see that there's still plenty of dirt left on the car. Bearing in mind that this side of the car has now had two hits with this product, one at the 1 to 8 dilution and the other at 1 to 4, or as I say 20%. Although to give some sort of positivity to the test, you can indeed see where the 20% product has run down, that it has had more of an impact. But is that impact enough to change my opinion of this product? Which based on how it performed earlier in the video, was pretty low to say the least. Well, all I can really do is get the rest of the product rinsed off and take a closer look at it. So starting with the back door, and you can see where the stronger dilution has run down in streaks. It has made more of an impact than the water did, or even the product at 8 to 1. But taking a closer look at the front door, and you can see it certainly hasn't done enough to get me excited about it. I've used much better pre-wash products before in the past and I would be in no way comfortable to go in with a contact wash with the car still in this condition. So as far as an all-purpose cleaner goes that cleans all surfaces, it seems to be a fail in that regard. But one of the other claims it makes is that it's good for bug splats. Well, let's spray it at the 20% dilution on these bugs at the front of the car and see what, if anything, it can do about them. So just to confirm then, I'm using the same 20% dilution leaving it to dwell for 2-3 to three minutes, which I'm going to speed up obviously, and they will rinse it off and see how much of this it can remove. Well, I think that pretty much answers that question, in that it removed some of the bugs, but it didn't, once again, remove half as much as I would have expected. So that's those questions answered, and that just leaves one more. Valid Pro Citrus Pre-Wash then, and whilst not the results I would have expected, I have to make this decision based on my own results, and unfortunately... So that one unfortunately was a fail for me. Now you may have used this product before and had completely different results, which of course is absolutely fine. I'm not saying it's a bad product, I'm saying that it's a product that I bought, I used, I was very disappointed with, and I'll probably never be using again. But at the end of the day, that's the joys of product reviewing. Sometimes you get products that you just don't like or you don't get on with, you don't get the results you expect, and it's absolutely fine to give a negative review of a product. Every industry out there, whether it's car cleaner products, books, films, restaurants, whatever, every single industry relies on criticism in order for improvements to be made. So to say that all reviews should be positive or shouldn't be negative, whether you've been gifted the products or you've purchased them out of your own pocket, it's just complete nonsense if you ask me. As far as I'm concerned, a review should be one person sharing their honest experience of a product and sharing their conclusion of said experience. It doesn't mean they're right or wrong, it doesn't mean you have to agree with them, but it does have to be honest. And that is all I have to say about that. Rant over and video over. I hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Take care.